MicroWrap 100 is an open source 3D printer project by Jeremy Woodchick. This is step one, frame assembly, where we'll make the chassis for the printer. I'm going to start off by showing you where we should end up. There you can see the front of the printer, the left side with the USB, the back, and the right side. And finally, don't forget, leave the top off during this step of assembly. We're going to need that for later. The wooden chassis frame and the wooden pieces that make it up are held together on each edge by a series of connectors. Each of these connectors consists of an M3 nut, which is embedded in a plastic connector frame, and then into that we put a 16 millimeter M3 screw. It's important to note, it's very important to note, that the screw should always enter through the plastic connector first and then go and thread into the nut. Get your frame snug and tight, but avoid over tightening because you can actually wear out these two little tabs that hold the connector in place. There's no exact correct order on how to assemble the frame. However, I'd recommend you start with these two pieces, the bottom piece and the rear piece. And you can see that there's some good visual indicators to get you started correctly here. On the rear panel, you're going to see the power jack connector and make sure that that's on the same side as that NEMA 17 motor mount hole that you see in the back there. Now that we've got the bottom and the rear mostly attached, we're going to move on and attach the left side of the printer. Now the left side and the right side look almost the same, except the left side has this square hole for the USB plug. Now that we've finished attaching the left side, we should grab the right side. The right side is going to look exactly like the left side, except it does not have the USB hole on it. Attach that to the frame in exactly the same manner as the other parts. When you're finished with that, move on and add the front to it as well. Once you're finished attaching the front, you're done with this step of assembly. If you look around the printer, you should count a total of 17 connectors. And make sure that you do not attach the top during this section. Don't worry, we've got a lot of other things to put inside the printer first, but we will attach the top in a later step. Next is step two, bottom plate assembly, where we attach all of the things that come into contact with the bottom of our printer. 